entitled Tallahatchie, and I know that everyone has heard the, the song Ode to Billy Joe and uh, how Billy Joe McAllister jumped off the Tallahatchie Bridge. But the Tallahatchie uh, has a lot more history to it, and uh, I hope that after I read this poem, you will understand some more of its history that digs deep into Mississippi. Tallahatchie. From Tippa to Lafleur, three Mississippi voices, sisters Yalabusha, Yazoo, and you move through the red clay, foothills, piney woods, fields of sweet clover and cattle grazing in sultry southern heat. Morning glories praise you, and springtime prepares a palette of pink lousewort, yellow star grass, and blue celestial lilies to tattoo winter's bare limbs. Come summer, Queen Anne's lace, hemlock, and king cotton clothe your borders in summer snow. Long before the white man drove his fist into your chest, you, rock of waters, quenched the thirst of Choctaws and Chickasaws, filled their bellies with brim and buffalo fish, guided their canoes up and down to winding watery spine. Once thought shallow and insignificant, you proved us wrong by rising up, washing away what man wanted to destroy. You even made Maddie Delane sing the blues. The staple singer sang of Freedom Highway and the dead beneath your depths. How many bodies did bigotry force you to hide? How many tears did you cry for the black boy wrapped in barbed wire and a cotton gin fan hurled into your waters like a fishing line? For you, Billy Joe forsook his lover on Crybaby Bridge and you cradled him. To this day, no one knows why. Only you, Tallahatchie, settle your stories within your bosom. You never ceased your journey through blood-stained terrain, loss or gain, mindless of pain, run, run, you prodigal son, seep into the rich black soil, tickle the toes of magnolias, maples, pines and oaks, sing your songs, recite your stories. I'll ride the current listening for your voice. Is that